Ever since rapper Young Dolph passed, Yo Gotti has rocked headlines, as many believe that he has a connection to the murder. After several shootouts and diss tracks, why won't people think he did it? Yo Gotti got more suspicious after fans got a hold of what he said about Young Dolph's death. Keep watching to find out what he said. Young Dolph death. Young Dolph stepped into his favorite cookie store to get some cookies, but he never stepped out alive. The rapper was visiting his hometown in Memphis, Tennessee to spend his Thanksgiving holidays with his family. While in Memphis, he took the chance to visit his favorite cookie store, which he has promoted several times. Dolph stepped into the cookie store at noon on that fateful day when two guys in hoodies and guns pulled up and started shooting at the store. Unfortunately, Young Dolph was caught up in the shootout and he died on the scene. The whole of Memphis and many other places in the world were talking about Young Dolph's passing and someone everyone least expected had something to say. If you guess Yo Gotti, then I've got to give you some credit. What did Yo Gotti say? Since Young Dolph's death, Yo Gotti has been called out a lot as the two rappers were known to hate each other. But what you didn't know was that they were in fact friends in the past. It wasn't until Young Dolph turned down Yo Gotti's offer to be on his record label that the two became fell off. They however became enemies when Young Dolph claimed that he was the king of Memphis, which is a title that Yo Gotti doesn't like to share with anyone else. Fans knew the beef was heated when Yo Gotti's associates were connected to Young Dolph's shooting that left him in critical condition in the hospital. Anyway, Yo Gotti somehow managed to pick the morning of Young Dolph's shooting to post a very mysterious quote on his Instagram story. He said, good morning. Don't value the things you don't have over the things you do. Many fans agree that he meant Young Dolph shouldn't value the supposed title of King of Memphis, which wasn't his over his own life. In fact, some fans have attributed this to a quote from Grand Theft Auto when Playboy hired Nico to kill his old friend Dwayne, who later became his rival. The hustle instinct. The hustle instinct. You gotta keep reinventing yourself and figuring it out. Game changing, you gotta be on top of it. Why should Yo Gotti comment? Well, to be honest, no one expects Yo Gotti to say anything about the death of Young Dolph just yet, because whatever he says will surely be twisted in the media. However, since Young Dolph's passing, Young Dolph's passing, Yo Gotti's name, has been springing up a lot in connection to the shooting, and the rapper is yet to say anything about these allegations. You see, Yo Gotti and Young Dolph go way back. The two rappers are from Memphis, but they never actually got along. It became an official beef in 2014 when Young Dolph refused to be signed into Yo Gotti's record label. In an interview, Young Dolph said that he would rather see his own investment in himself through than latch onto another artist's movement. Feel like I'm a loner, bro. I like I do better and come up with it better and I make money and do a lot. Yeah, I do everything better, bro. Just being by myself. He also claimed that Yo Gotti picked a fence over his refusal to join CMG. After Young Dolph refused to join Yo Gotti, the two went their separate ways, but one just couldn't keep away, Yo Gotti. Although he never publicly came out to attack Young Dolph, he was getting some dust in his name underground, and Young Dolph somehow got the wind of it. Dolph took to his Twitter to call out Yo Gotti. He wrote, Bro went from being my number one fan and wanting to sign me to being my biggest hater. From the tweet, you'll notice that Young Dolph never mentioned anyone's name, so at the time, people weren't exactly sure who he was talking about. However, everyone kinda got the message after Young Dolph dropped his album, which he titled King of Memphis. This was a blow to Yo Gotti as everyone knew he was the King of Memphis. Gotti never commented on the issue per usual until Young Dolph went on to make a diss track about him. Dolph started off by posting a couple of videos on Instagram and then using the caption, first thing first. Everybody know it's you, Gotti, that's sending your artists out to say the lame he been saying and doing. Dolph wrote in the Instagram caption adding, I guess you still mad cause I didn't never sign with your Or is you still in your feelings cause you fell out with Gucci man and you was mad at me cause I kept rocking with Gucci. Shortly after this post, Young Dolph released a diss track, Play With Yo. In the song, he claimed that he had a fling with Yo Gotti's wife and everyone knows that Yo Gotti doesn't play about Lakeisha. Gotti responded with his own diss track title, Don't Beef With Me, where he attacked Young Dolph and sent him a warning shot. Gotti didn't stop at the song, this was basically the highlight of the two rappers' beef all through Dolph's lifetime. With everything that happened between these rappers, it isn't surprising that Yo Gotti doesn't have anything to say. However, with his name popping in and out the news, he's probably going to drop a statement one of these days. Never finna see me on Twitter, friend, trying to clear some up or explain some. Oh no, they want me. Ooh, ooh, this, they want me because this happened. Or, oh, I ain't say that. He said. Or you're never gonna see. Me. Did Yo Gotti do it? 
Now, the cops are yet to bring out any information with regards to parties involved in the murder. However, from the things that have happened in the past between Young Dolph and Yo Gotti, it wouldn't be that much of a surprise if Gotti's was involved in the shooting. You see, Dolph has been shot several times and in all his shootings, it has always been traced back to Yo Gotti somehow. The first shooting involving Yo Gotti was in February 2017, when Young Dolph was on his way to a concert in Charlotte, North Carolina. The vehicle he was driving in was shot at with over 100 bullets. However, Young Dolph didn't have as little as a scratch when he came out of the vehicle. When asked about the incident in an interview, Young Dolph said that he was well protected in his vehicle as he spent $300,000 getting the vehicle bulletproof. At the time, Young Dolph wasn't quite certain that Yo Gotti had planned the whole thing. However, Yo Gotti was never pinned to that shooting, but one of his loyal artists, Black Youngster, was arrested along with his associates. Black Youngster turned himself in after a warrant for his arrest was served. Several months later, Young Dolph found himself in a hospital bed with multiple gunshot wounds. He was attacked by three men from Yo Gotti's entourage at the Lowe's Hollywood Hotel, where the two rappers coincidentally stayed at during their stay in California. The argument got so intense that one of the men shot at Young Dolph multiple times, leaving him seriously wounded. Dolph was able to find cover at a shoe store until he was taken to the hospital. One of the men was later caught and he revealed that he was a member of Yo Gotti's entourage. After these two attacks, fans will certainly not doubt the slightest report that Yo Gotti had a hand in Young Dolph's murder. A man has been arrested in connection with the shooting of rapper Young Dolph. Police booked Corey McClendon from Memphis, Tennessee for attempted murder. Was it gang related? After several incidents that just occurred in Memphis after Young Dolph's death, people are beginning to think it's gang related and retaliation may be at play. For starters, a couple of hours after Dolph was shot and killed, Yo Gotti's restaurant was shut down by authorities. Apparently, the restaurant, Privé, was shut down as a precaution due to the beef that they both had. A Fox News reporter saying, Breaking news at MEM Police Department, shut down Privé and businesses nearby as a precaution since at Yo Gotti has connections with the business and past interactions with now dead rapper Young Dolph, pound praying for peace at Fox 13 Memphis. However, fans believe there was a different reason as to why the restaurant was shut down. Many people believe that Yo Gotti expected a protest of some sort from Young Dolph fans against his murder and since the restaurant was close to Makita's bakery. He assumed that it may be attacked by the angry and grieved fans. I don't know about you all, but it makes more sense when you question whether he did it or not along with this move of closing up his restaurant. Apart from Yo Gotti's restaurant, other things happened that left people puzzled about the murder. You see, the same vehicle used as a getaway car in Young Dolph's murder was linked to a shooting that happened on November 12th in Covington, which is about an hour away from Memphis. According to the Covington police, the same white Mercedes-Benz was used when two women were shot at after a high school football game. One of the victims, Anita Wilson, died while the other survived. The police statement read, We also feel confident that the vehicle used in the shooting of Young Dolph was also used in our shooting. We are working closely with the Memphis Police Department and other agencies. The crazy part of it is that the vehicle wasn't just involved in Dolph's murder and the Covington shooting. It was also connected to other shootings. A Memphis detective, Detective Tony Doss, determined the shootings have all been gang related. We have been able to piece together that all of the people are connected in some way or another. And it has to do with gang retaliation, Doss said. Who wanted Dolph dead? Just as Young Dolph was loved by many, he was also hated by many more. Ever since the rapper was a teenager, he has been shot several times. While some of the shootings weren't life-threatening, others left him stuck in the hospital for months until finally he passed on from the recent shootout. Some rappers are likely to have a hand in the murder case as they have tried to kill him in the past. Rappers like Black Youngster and Soulja Boy. Shortly before his death, Soulja Boy and Young Dolph had a bit of a disagreement online which Soulja Boy took too far. Young Dolph was minding his business, talking about being independent when Soldier Boy jumped in and said Dolph and his entire paper route empire crew was capping. When the crew poured the smoke on Soldier Boy, he couldn't handle it. He went on Instagram live to rant and throw tantrums and even go as far as placing a bounty on Young Dolph's head. He said, how the f we end up talking about Dolph's lane, clout chasing, man stop playing, I'll put a hundred ball on this head. Ain't never play with me. Last that played with me, I shot him. I don't do the shoot, get shot at. I'll do the shooting at. I bet a hundred thousand dollars this won't give me an address. How about that? Look, I got a hundred K cash. Look, DM the address and you can have all this in my hand. How about that? A couple of days later, Dolph ends up dead. How do you explain that? Soldier Boy wasn't the only one until Young Dolph. CMG's Black Youngster was an op. Once was, always would be. Black Youngster and Dolph had a beef so far back that Black Youngster claims that the beef was squashed, but it wasn't. 
Ever since Young Dolph claimed he was the king of Memphis, black youngster never let him hear the last of it. He kept on dissing him on social media, calling him out, releasing diss tracks until eventually he showed up to Dolph World, aka South Memphis, with some gang members, and they were all armed to the teeth and ready to kill. Black youngster went looking for Young Dolph, claiming that he wanted to kill the rapper in the video he made about it. However, he wasn't in the city at the time. Black youngster claims that he and Young Dolph squashed their beef in 2018, but in 2020, he posted a video where he was shooting shots in the air and calling out Young Dolph saying, we gonna get your shooter shot. And to crown it all, when Dolph was shot in North Carolina, Black Youngster, along with two of his associates, was arrested in connection to the shooting. Luckily for him, the charges of six counts of discharging a weapon into an occupied dwelling or moving vehicle and felony conspiracy that he received were dropped. He may have been facing long-term prison time had the trials progressed. It's not hard to see why Black Youngster may have been behind this as well. Black Youngster owes his loyalty to Yo Gotti, which means anyone Gotti got beef with automatically got beef with him. So anyone Gotti wants out the picture would be taken out. One more person who may have wanted Young Dolph dead but wasn't particularly involved in the shooting was Darion D. Money Childs. The Memphis comedian wasn't a fan of Young Dolph and he shared it with the world after Young Dolph passed. D. Money took to his Facebook page to make a post about Young Dolph's death. He wrote, if the news don't post me as a Memphis legend when I die, then they hate it, he continued. Man, them folks just kill Young Dolph. I love Memphis cause we so gangster. Man, cause if you ain't from Memphis or if you ain't the police, just quit trying to solve Young Dolph murder, he continued. These folks then came and locked my GMA up. A couple of days after Darion made this post, he was shot and killed. And many believe that he was killed because of the jokes he made about Young Dolph's death. In fact, and according to the inner streets of Memphis, more than five people have been killed since Young Dolph was shot. They believe that it is a retaliation of some sort or people who disrespect the name of Memphis legend, Young Dolph. 